So, my brothers and sisters, let's talk about Nigeria. Let's try to understand why Nigeria is the way it is and also how we can move forward and try our best to fix Nigeria. Nigeria is a country with over 200 million people. Some would even say it's 220 million people. It is the most populated country in Africa. Nigeria has the biggest workforce in Africa and most Nigerians are youth, which means that Nigeria has a vibrant workforce. If you move around the world, you will find Nigerians in almost any place you go to. Any country you visit around the world, there will be one or two Nigerians there. So you can see that Nigerians are like all over the place. Secondly, Nigeria is the biggest crude oil producer in Africa. Nigeria is so rich. Nigeria has the biggest movie industry in Africa. They have famous artists whose songs have shocked the world. Nigeria has the richest people you could ever find in Africa. In fact, the richest person in Africa, Aliko Dangote, is a Nigerian. Go to the religious part. Nigeria has a lot of successful men of God. Men of God who pull crowd. Men of God who, when they speak, crowd follows. Men of God like Apostle John Susulemanu or Apostle Selman or even Pastor Chris in South Africa. They are all Nigerians. So you can see that Nigeria has a lot of potential which, when put to good use, Nigeria can become a first world nation in no time. But why is Nigeria the way it is? Why? This is the million dollar question that nobody is able to give an answer to. Why? Nigerians are very, very talented. When they put their mind into something or when they put their time into something, they must succeed. They become very, very successful. I have seen a lot of Nigerians who are into business and how successful they have become. They started just small and they have become very, very successful. Nigeria has got a lot of talented people. Go to the US. Some of the most successful medical doctors are Nigerians. Some of the most successful engineers are Nigerians. So you can see that Nigeria has got a lot of talent. But yet still, Nigeria is going nowhere. The common man in the street can hardly find something to eat. The common man in the street can barely afford simple gare and soup. Nigeria is still a very, very poor country. What is the problem? And I think this is something that we all must ask ourselves. Why is it that Africa is finding it very, very difficult to develop? Why is it that most countries that were on the same level in development in the 60s and 70s have passed Africa? In the 60s and 70s, Africa was on the same level with most countries in Asia. But right now, they cannot even compare. The countries in Asia are far gone, but Africa has stayed the same. And some countries have even 
gotten worse than they were in the 60s. Why, my brothers and sisters? What is the problem? So, I think that the reason why Africa hasn't moved ahead or the reason why Nigeria is the way it is is mainly because the politicians do not have the will to fix the country. The politicians have embezzled every fund that the country has and they have bankrupted the country. They have used the name of the country to take all sorts of loans and when they get this loan, they do not put it in any use whatsoever. They embezzle the money. So the people of the country are now left in paying the loan back in taxes, whereby they did not benefit anything from the loan. We have politicians who do not love our countries. Nigerian politicians are just there, just because they are there, just to line their pockets and to fill their bank accounts. They steal, they loot, they do all sorts of things. Politicians have never had the interest of the people at heart. If never. And the thing that really gets me so sad is because if you've been to other countries, if you've been abroad, you can see the way government operate. Now, I do not mean to say that there isn't corruption in Asia or in Europe. No. In fact, Asia also has corruption. There is corruption everywhere. But the difference is in Africa, the political elites and the politicians have no shame at all. They have no shame. In fact, they've sold their shame away. They embezzle every single thing without any sense of shame or pity for common people. Nothing. And that's really sad. That's really, really sad, my brothers and sisters, because you can see how the common person in Africa is suffering. You can see how Africans have the willpower to fix their lives, to fend for their families, to work and support their families. If only their governments share the same notion or share the same idea and create a kind of unity between the people and the government. How successful Africa will become. How successful. So you can see the reason why Nigeria is not going anywhere. Because politicians do not love the country enough. They say something and they do totally different thing. During elections, they will come out to promise the people everything. We will do this, we will do that, we will fix the world, it will create more jobs. But as soon as they get into the offices, they changed. You don't see them anymore. They don't do what they say they will do. In fact, they start embezzling. That's all what they do. It's really sad. So my brothers and sisters, I hope as time goes on, we all become very aware of what is going on and put a stop to this. Because like I have always said, the people are more powerful than their government. The people are more powerful than the government. The government is accountable to the people. And when a people realize how powerful they are, a government can never take them for granted. So we all must realize that we have the power to change things. And we must wield that power carefully. 
we must make sure that the people we choose, the people we vote into high offices are people who are qualified to be there, are people who have the interests of the states at heart, are people who will do great things for the nation, are people who will consider the feelings of the common person, are people who won't sit there and let the people starve to death. We must make sure that we must make sure that things go the way we want them to go. That is going to be our collective responsibility. So my brothers and sisters, let us know in the comment section, what do you think is the major reason why Nigeria, with all its worth, has remained the way it has? What could be the reason why Nigeria is not moving ahead like other countries are? Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And one more thing, if you came across any particular story on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, or on Instagram that you thought it's worth sharing with the rest of the world, please send it our way through any of our social media platforms. We shall talk about them on this show. Find our other social media platforms on this channel description section. Kindly support the show with a dollar or more through the crowdfunding website Patreon or directly to us through our PayPal account. You have no idea how much your support and donations help us and we shall forever be grateful. Please like this video, share this video, leave us a comment below, follow our Facebook page and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Little deeds of good we like this helps the channel a lot and we shall forever be grateful to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like always, see you in the next one. Cut. <laughs>